Hi guys, so today we're looking at some product from Nabla. Now I've looked at their stuff for ages and never really um, bought anything, but they brought out a couple of new cutie palettes and there was one that just I thought was beautiful. So this is the cutie palette number five, Wild Berry. And I mean, it is cute. There's nothing else to say. It's so cute. Look at the packaging and it's like, just, it's like bits that are kind of like 3D embossed and it's got a nice mirror and it's got these shades and they are beautiful the names are a little bit odd but we'll get into that so the palette is 1825 and the total weight is 2.8 grams so next i got the lipstick that goes along with it in wild berry and the lipstick is 10 pounds 50 and then they also have these multi-use pencil crayon types. I got number three, um, doesn't have a name, just arrow number three, because um, they're called Cupid's Arrow. It's nice because this is your Cupid's bow and it's really good as a lip liner. Um, but these are £12 and you get... It's not on. Okay, I can't even find the weight on Beauty Bay, so I'll just research it and find it for you later. So, one thing about this palette that I noticed is this shade here is called Alchemy 2, which means there's an Alchemy 1. So, I bought that as well, just so we can do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Um, Price-wise, I should have told you this one too. Um, there's 0.2 grams in this, I think it was £6. Nine pounds. Whoops. Right. It looks a bit more pinky purple than the one in the palette. Which is strange. They made it less berry toned for the berry collection. So this is the original alchemy. And that's alchemy too. So they look really nice side by side. This one I almost feel does fit more with the collection, but this one kind of rounds out the palette better in terms of being a bit of like a highlight tone. Um, yeah, but I, I like both of them. <laughs> so I have used these doing my makeup today and let's see how that went. Right, so I've already primed with the P. Louise base and I've just thrown my normal makeup obsession pearl on the brow bone because there's not really a colour I want to throw all over the brow bone in this palette, gorgeous as it is. Um, so, let's get started. I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and then I think for my kind of transition shade I'm going to go into Botanic Juice. We will see how, um, how pigmented this turns out to be. But yeah, so this palette is so much prettier in real life than I even thought it was from like seeing it online. So I'm really excited and it's been sitting in my house for a few days not getting around to doing this and I didn't open it and oh, I'm kind of glad I didn't open it or I'd have been really wanting to use it but anyway. I wish I'd been using it for days. So that colour is really nice. It's blending really nicely, it's really smooth, there's no skipping. Um, and yeah. And I'd say that's a decent amount of pigment considering it's a very loose brush and I just like tapped in on it. So like literally just going boop. And I can start building up my colour. Because this is just going to kind of like show around the edge of my main crease colour. But I am still trying to keep it even because it can have an effect on how that appears. So I'm going quite high with it. Just building up for that. But yeah, so Botanic Juice, that's an interesting name. The names in this are interesting. I mean, there's some that are quite like, you know, normal. Incense, Blackberry, Alchemy. Then Botanic Juice is weird. Venom. And then Bucolic Baby. So, yeah. I think that's about as high as I want to go. If I go too high and I end up basically touching my eyebrows, it looks a bit weird for me. For me. Other people can rock it, I can't. Um, strengthen up the inside there. Um, 
believe in that. Okay, so for the crease, we are going to use blackberry, which is this very deep purple. Almost looks like it's got a bit of a brown tint to it, um, but we'll see. But it is a matte again. Yeah, it's a slightly brown tone purple, but still definitely purple. That's cool. So maybe got slightly less blue than I would think of with blackberries, because you know, like sometimes when you're muting them, your fingers get stained and it's a very kind of blue based colour. It's got less blue in it than that. But then if it was too blue, it wouldn't really work with the other colours in the palette, so good call with that. But very pigmented and very smooth again, so that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to move on to shimmery shades for my lid, but I'm going to see how sheer they are and whether I want to use them more as a topper rather than a you know, colour in their own right. So I've lost some of the transition shade. There's quite a bit on this side compared to this one. That's better. Okay, so... I don't know which one of these I want to play with. So we've got Bucolic Baby and we've got Alchemy. Okay, so Bucolic Baby has a lot more pigment. Alchemy seems to be just shimmer. I think I'm still going to layer them. I think I still want to layer them because I want to play with Venom. So Venom is this kind of purplier pink tone in the top middle. Again, smooth, pigmented, blending. So if you wanted to do an all matte look, you clearly can. This gives you that. And I'm just neglecting incense because it's, it's not the most appealing colour to me. I will get it swatched though because other people have different tastes. Okay, yeah, so for an all matte look, that would be gorgeous. Incense, just so that you guys can see it. It's just a sort of goldy peach. Um, it's nice, it feels very silky and creamy. It's just not my cup of tea. So, quickly dusting my brush off on my pyjama bottoms because why not? And then I'm going to go back into Bucolic Baby and we're just going to tap that over Venom. See, so yeah, that just adds a nice bit of kind of shimmery dimension there. Doo -doo. If you wanted to go for a more natural eye with a bit of shimmer, I think Bucolic Baby would actually work because it's got a little bit of pigment but not a crazy amount um, and it would look really nice with, you know, like Blackberry. Okay, and then I'm just going to get a tiny bit of Alchemy just on the very edge of my brush. a little bit brighter on the inner corner just because it's too pretty not to play with. Cool. So I'm going to go and quickly do my skin and then we will be right back. Right, so I'm back with most of a face and a flint. So if you hear background noise, that's why. Um, so the next product I have is the Cupid's Arrow Full Colour Stilo, which is a multi-use crayon. 
So we're going to try and use this for blusher today. Um, so it is a purpley berry colour, not colour. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about this one because cream blush is not always my friend. And this is obviously quite a small product. So I'm going to do a couple of crazy looking freckles. And then blend those out. Okay, maybe what I want to do is get it on my fingers. Blend! Oh my god. And then tap. Oh, okay. Caution. Caution if you're pale and you're using this shade. I mean, that looks like a pretty shade, it's just the kind of edges are a bit abrupt. It looks better in real life than on camera. This one doesn't. <laughs> Haven't set my foundation, by the way. Um, you know, I'm not that daft. Okay, so it's picking up a lot more blue on camera. Then, then, picking up more blue on camera than in real life. Um, so I'm going to set this and see how it looks then. Um, so two minutes. So I also got with my order the RCMA powder. Never tried this, so we're just going to play with it today as well. Because why not? So, oh, and it's sealed. Oh, oh, that was a lot of powder. Okay. So the shaker on this makes me think of like salt in DLs. Um, I've just got another powder lid that I'm tipping some out into. I didn't tip too much out. We will see. Um, I'm just going to quickly re-blend my foundation and concealer around my eyes. Usually I do set my makeup immediately after I put it on, but I had to do the cream blusher. I just want to make sure that's completely smooth before I set it. And cool. yeah, it looks a bit more natural now that it's set down and had a wee minute because I do find that with cream blusher even when I'm putting it on top of foundation I still feel like it's a bit it's a bit more energetic to blend than just dusting on like a, a powder blusher so sometimes it needs a minute to kind of settle down because the blood can rush up to the surface of your skin just from the kind of blending action so give it a minute go away and come back to it and then see how dark it looks. Ooh, I've got a bit of a white cast there. Okay, that's fine. So I also wanted to try using using the stilo as an eyeliner. Not sure how well that's gonna work out, but we will persist. Da -da -da. I mean, it is pretty dark, so it should still show up. And I've still got most of the, the kind of points still on here. Lynn is investigating as well. So this is really nice and creamy. I'm getting quite nice control out of this and it's giving a nice definition like you can't really see obvious eyeliner but this eye looks way more defined than this one it's nice oh I managed to win So 
that one didn't come out as good. Slightly better. I've got my kind of angled brush sitting here because what I used to do when I used to try and do wings with any kind of pencil liners is you can go over it and drag it and smooth it out. It always kind of improves the appearance. exaggerated that one didn't I? Anyway, so what have we got next apart from more of Flynn being a noisy noisy pest. Right so next I bought one of the lipsticks it's in the shade Wild Berry. Um, the multi stilo by the way was just shade free. Um, I don't know why it didn't get a name. But the lipstick is in the metal tube. It's kind of colour coordinated the product and the case which is cool. I literally just went to smell it and coloured in my nose. Repaired. So getting a mild fruity smell but it's not too strong. It's nice though. Is so creamy. That is so nice. Okay. That is such a nice colour and it's such a nice feeling lipstick. Mmm, I'm happy. Okay, I might need to get more of those. Um, yeah, so wild berry. Mmm, right, where did I put the box? There it is. So it's apparently their luminous lipstick. So, how nice is that? In fact, the multi-use stilo is a bit darker. So... Let's do a little bit of an ombre in the corners if I can. I think this has got a sharpener in the end. Yeah, it does have a wee sharpener in the end. So it's good. I kind of wish I'd done that the other way around, done the darker one first, but anyway. I think that looks pretty damn cool. Um, obviously I still need to do mascara. I haven't done anything for contour and highlight. Obviously, not really a berry contour. Um, that wouldn't look quite right. I am going to be brave and I'm going to try the eyeshadows as highlight, just really lightly. So. We're going to go back in true bucolic baby and I'm just going to tap very very gently Okay, might be a bit too pigmented for me to use it for that Oopsie, but we've done it now um, If you have darker skin than me, this would probably be a gorgeous highlight But it's a bit too strong for me and then alchemy will probably work but it's very blue yeah alchemy works better as a highlight for me anyway so this is our finished look I actually really like this um, I've known about Nabla for ages and just never use any of their stuff time just now it's 5 to 12 We'll see how this holds up and yeah, I am really happy with this. See you guys in a bit. 
Right, so back for a wee check-in. It is just after ten past six and everything is looking pretty good. Um, highlight on the cheeks is still going strong. Eyeshadow is still nice. It hasn't creased. I've got a little smudge down here. The liner has worn away just a little bit but it still looks pretty indefined so that's fine. The lips They're still there, obviously, right? Um, the actual lipstick has worn away a little bit more than the um, Cupid's Arrow, um, which I did kind of expect with how soft and buttery this was that it wouldn't be as long lasting. But it's definitely not bad. I haven't eaten yet though, so we'll see. I'll be back. Right, back for final check-in and hopefully Flynn will be quiet this time because it's quite late. It is just after midnight so I've had a good a good wear of this. The blusher, which is the Maltese Stilo, is looking pretty good. Um, the lips, well we've lost the lipstick that I'd retouched but to be honest I ate my dinner and I didn't expect it to last through that. There's still a tint there, it's just not great. And the um, stilo that we'd put on, that's kind of wearing away as well. It's looking pretty blotchy, but I didn't touch that up since this morning. The eyeshadow that we put on as highlight is looking good. The actual eyeshadow, look, a little bit of creasing there. A little bit more in this eye, unfortunately. Uh, and a bit of a smudge underneath. But I did put quite a lot of the eyeshadow on, so... And it has been a long day and I was out with Flynn for about three hours in the sun earlier. So overall I actually think this has held up really really well. Um, I really really love the lipstick, like the texture of that is so nice. And then the palette, I just love everything about it. Like the packaging is so cute. It's got strawberries and raspberries and things on it. And the colours are just absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to play with you know, just alchemy the normal or the first one. Um, but yeah, if you've been looking at one of these palettes and thinking it was really cute and there was like a set of shades that, you know, was your thing that appealed to you, go for it. If you like a traditional creamy lipstick that's not like your super long wearing one because they can end up drying out your lips, then this is a really nice formula that I hadn't tried before. I'm definitely tempted to go and look at more colours. The Stilo, forgot to mention, it's worn away more um, where I'd use it as eyeliner as well. So that's not ideal. Um, but yeah, I would say for cheeks and lips, it's a really good product. For cheeks, definitely put a bit on your fingertips and then do it because it's such a narrow um, pencil that it's quite hard to, you know, to apply it in a subtle way other than that. Unless you're really like quite deep toned skin, then you might be okay. So overall, I'm very happy. I definitely want to try more from Nabla. Um, if you guys have got any recommendations, I'll leave those down below. If you get any requests for any other videos, leave those down below. I'm also going to leave a link to a website called Love to Slay. Um, I just found out about it the other day. It's like you can look review type stuff and things and you earn points and then you can trade it in for makeup. Why wouldn't you want to do that? But I'll leave my referral down below if anyone wants to sign up for it because um, then you get a little bit of points and I get a little bit of points and that's always fun. So I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you are all doing well with the lockdown chaos that's happening and I will see you soon. Bye!